go on a fishing mission. Almost there. I'm ready to get fishing. Well, I forgot my bike lock. I certainly don't want to lose this bike. I've got to do so much riding on this. I'm doing a 330 mile ride later this year or later next year. So, I've got to find a little hiding spot back in these trees uh, to hide the bikes. No one can find it. Oh. All right. Ooh, just cleaning this off. Hopefully, no one sees it there. I'll say a little prayer that everyone that sees it, if they do, is kind and leaves it be. On to fishing. So it rained a little bit last night, which filled some of the pools back up. And uh, it's also great because this morning it is overcast and it's foggy and the steam is just rolling off the water. Um, so I think top water is gonna be the key today. I'm gonna throw the Zara puppy. It's a little uh, tiny uh, walk the dog style action bait. Love the action. Uh, it's done great for smallmouth, and the smallmouth have been active on the top water. So that's what we're gonna start with. Maybe we'll just fish the whole day with it if we're getting a good top water bite. It's always fun to get that. Let's hit the water. Well, the water is looking nice and clear. The fog has cleared up just a little bit, but I still feel like that top water is gonna be cranking today. Let's get some first casts in. Well, I don't wanna give up on this pool. Treasure one. There we go, finally. Got us a top water bite. Oh, I think he may have got foul hooked. What we got? Got us a rocky bass. Not bad, yeah. Chunky rock bass. We didn't foul hook him, he bit it. Nice. Well, that took a while, probably about an hour's worth, just to get us a fish. Man, hope there are more where you came from. Pretty sure I just saw a bald eagle fighting with a blue heron. I saw the I definitely saw the bald eagle with his tail feathers and his white head. And I'm gonna kind of venture down here. It's the next fishing spot anyway. Let's see if I can sneak up on him real quiet. There's the bald eagle. Well, that was cool. He made an appearance. I'm glad we caught up to him. Didn't get super close, but he kind of almost flew overhead just over those trees over there. Maybe he'll stick around today. I don't know. There we go. Little guy. And when I say little guy, I mean little guy. <laughs> Looks like a little uh, spotted bass. Oh, caught him by the gill. Little baby spotty. Probably about as big as the popper. There's fish back in this little slow pool off this uh, current. So we got this little riffle and we got this current coming back. So I'm fishing just off the edges of the faster moving water, pulling it through this. 
current. Been a few attacks. It's good that we finally got a bass on the board. I do want to see a little bit more of a aggressive bite. We know we're gonna have to weed through some of these sunfish. There we go. Just a little guy, but he's an aggressive smallmouth. All right. Hey, a few species on the board. We got a rocky, a spotty, and now a smallie. We are definitely not on a big bite, but <laughs> we are we are changing up the species here. Look at that little nugget. All right. Hey, the bite is starting to heat up just a bit. I will take that. Oh, wow. What a random thing to get snagged on. That's a nice little fly, too. Cleaning up some line. I think we got us another river treasure. That's a little Rapala. Nice. The aquatic. Alright, give me a target. Between those two. Ooh. Well guys, thanks for coming along on this little trip. We got, uh, we hit a triple, we didn't hit the Grand Slam. We got a Smalley, a Spotty, and uh, a Rock Bass. No Largy, almost at the Grand Slam. But uh, thanks for coming along on this little bike and bass mission. I will see you guys on the next Bass Special. Yeah.